Okay, welcome back. Um, also in weight belt, there is also a bow staff set, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the bow staff just like so, so my um, left hand is gonna be palm down, right hand is gonna be palm up. I'm gonna let go of my left for a minute, hand's gonna go down, if you notice I'm pointing, um, not because I need to do this, I'm just gonna do it for video purpose so you can see the direction of where my hand is in the bow. So I'm gonna face my partner and bow, I'm gonna raise this bow up into the sky and just let it turn to my hand, okay? So no um, turning it around or re-grip or anything, just right up into this motion right from here. First motion will be high, second motion is low, third motion is gonna be low. I'm gonna slide my foot back high and what we call a helicopter, okay? And when I return this helicopter, my foot is gonna slide back and right back in again. Now, since I'm facing the camera, the reason that we're gonna go ahead and do this is if I come up, you notice I'm gonna pass the bow staff past my center line, so that when I come up, my bow staff will be right on my partner that way, okay? So it's not gonna be something coming out this way, it's gonna go past the center or right in that alignment of that person. But I'm gonna slightly pass it, and then there'll be my first strike, my second strike. So first things first, I know you really can't see my stances, but it'll be a horse stance, bow stance, horse stance, pat around, horse stance again, right into that horse stance and right back. So you're kind of getting those kind of motions of that twisting. We don't want it just to be a one, two, three, four type of thing. You want your body behind your strike, your footwork behind your strike. And that's the whole set. I'm gonna do it real fast with John. Um, just so you can kind of get a uh, better picture of how it's going to lurk because it is really meant to be a two-man set. Uh, bow staff set number three and bow staff number, uh, I'm sorry, two and three. Keep on continuing on to where this one's going to leave off. And by the time you get done, you got like this little fight scene. So it really builds up a good sensitivity, uh, good timing. And you learn how to apply the techniques that are in your kata. So many people, you know, they learn these katas and they're really nice katas but they have no clue of what techniques are in that kata. And it's very important, just like uh, our open hand katas, that when we do a weapons kata, you understand why you're doing it, what you're doing, what the name of it is, and so on. So here we go. So we're just gonna face each other. Now you wanna come over this way a little bit, cause, all right, there we are. And we'll just bow to each other, staff will come on up, and there's our first strike, our second strike, our third strike. Fourth strike, and then right back in again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. And we'll just bow it, and we just kind of do the same thing. So once I'm done with that last strike, we just let it follow through, or we can hold on to the bow staff, just like we would in the kata. Bow staff number one, white belt. <laughs> 